Oh! Oh! oh. You, okay? you all right? You all right, Namesy? All good. All good. That just goes to show, always keep your head up, and when you put your head up, make sure there's not a glass table above it. Mm -hmm. well, welcome to SportsCenter. Uh, I'm Dan. He's Jay. And TFC, they went to uh, their game uh, on Wednesday night. They had to do just one thing. They had to win. Second leg of the Eastern Conference Final at BMO Field. Dan, it, it, the atmosphere was absolutely incredible. It's MLS Cup or nothing for this squad. They were taking on the Columbus Crew. And after the first leg tied nil-nil on aggregate, that's what TFC wanted. They were without Sebastian Javinko and Josie Altador in the first leg. They got them back after serving one game suspensions and all kinds of pressure for TFC. But nobody able to get a shot away, so it was scoreless in the first half in a game you saw on TSN. Second half falls on Altador's ankle after a cleared cross. Altador stayed in a lot of pain, stayed on the ground, stayed in a lot of pain. He was in a lot of pain. Tried to walk it off, had to signal the bench, but he came back onto the field. Altador, four goals in his last five matches against Columbus. It's 1 0 TFC. But he would have to leave after that. He re aggravated that ankle injury, so it'll be interesting to see. Toronto FC clinching their second strike berth to the MLS Cup final, and after the game, head coach Greg Vanny led the celebration. Vanny made over the last two legs is messing up the thunderclap. But he'd redeem himself. TFC celebrates a 1 0 win. Hills Altador. Yeah, I mean, I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I came out of this game without making a play. I knew right away I couldn't continue, but I tried to give it another 10 minutes to see what I can do. And luckily enough, a play opened up and, and we got the goal. When you're standing in the tunnel before before big, big games, you look behind you, you see Josie, and it's a, it's a damn good feeling. And you know, on a night when when things didn't come easy, when it would have been when it would have been uh, when, when nobody would have even thought twice if he'd gone off, he kept going and found a way to make the difference. Toronto becomes the sixth team to reach back-to-back -back MLS Cup Finals. The previous three teams that did it all lost. TFC will host either Seattle or Houston in the MLS Cup on Saturday, December the 9th at BMO Field. A healthy carry price, like healthy for a long time is the only thing on Habs fans wish list because it's a rare gift. Sure you can ask for more but if you have to pick just one big present this season that's the one because when he's on his game there's no goalie better than Carey Price. And two games back from a two week long injury Carey Price is once again that unopened right out of the box version of Carey Price. In fact Price has stopped 73 of 74 shots since returning from injury. Uh, playing the Sens, they stink. Thompson was assessed the only penalty. Price, he went down, did stay in the game. Second period. Got a partial break. Cody Cece's right behind him. Oh boy, that's a penalty shot. Durant one on one with Mike Condon. And scores. Montreal's first penalty shot goal since 2014. That one was scored by Dale Weiss. Uh, make sure you YouTube how to pronounce Dale Weiss's name. You will be thoroughly entertained. Six. Recovers to make the stop. Price keeps it out. Finished with 27 saves. Uh, Canadians hold on for a 2-1 win. While the Sens, they have lost seven in a row. Last time that happened, 2012. Eric Carlson, pointless in seven straight. So that was uh, since an eight game skid in his rookie year in 2009. That's the first time that's happened. Jets and Avs in early November. The Jets saw Celine Dion concert. They've gone seven and three since then. And now they play My Heart Will Go On After Victories in the room. Why wouldn't they? I mean, she's a Canadian icon. Beautiful voice. 
first period. Morrissey buries his third. Mark Shifley with his 17th assist of the season. Jets strike first. Third period, Anton Lindholm has an open cage and oh, he fans on it. Or does Brian Little break it up? Yes, he does. Friend of Sports Center with Jay and Dan. That's the final. Avs win 3 2. The Raptors have been great at home this season. Six wins in seven games, and their good luck charm was courtside Tuesday. It's Drakesy wearing his Owls of Gahul jacket and drinking what appears to be a grapefruit Perrier. Raps taking on the Hornets. Kemba Walker out with a left shoulder contusion. Huge loss for Charlotte. Second quarter action. Kyle Lowry. After a very slow start, he has looked very good lately. Oh! Oh! What's up, the Owls of Gahul? Uh, that was a huge movie from a few years ago. Uh, uh, it was like Legends of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. It was a bunch of, about a bunch of owls who were defending the universe from something. To be honest, I never saw Owls of Gahul. I thought it was a band. Uh, but it was a film. Uh, some people just refer to it as the Owl movie. <laughs> Lowry with the season I 36. Drake approves. Here's Dwayne Casey. I rate about the third quarter despite the win. You know, I can't, don't have words. The way you come out and let a team go nine straight points to start the quarter. And again, that's totally unacceptable. We're not going to win anything if we come out with that attitude, if we don't fix it. We've talked about it. Again, I don't know, start another uh, five to start the second half. It's, it's just, you know, mind boggling. We just had too many bonehead things. We shot too soon in the first quarter and the second quarter. We got the two for one the way we wanted. And then we come up and give it right back to them. Just those things, just not, not thinking the game. And we're happy we won the game, but not happy with the performance. Connor McGregor may have taken on the worst possible opponent in an Irish pub. Details are next. Leafs. Rank it. Oilers. Thursday night. McDavid versus Matthews. Edmonton looking to win three straight for the first time all season. You can see it in the Leafs region on TSN 4. It's my favorite thing in the show. Phil Kessel promoting the Penguins' upcoming Star Wars night as Darth Kessel. The force is strong with the Penguins. Join us and fight the dark side when we battle the Islanders on December 7th during our special Star Wars theme night. Buy tickets you must. Visit PittsburghPenguins.com. May the force be with you. Oh, my God. Buy tickets you must. They went all out oh on that God. mask, too. Oh, my God. Chris Asperzingis leads the league in blocks per game and fourth in points per game. It's the Heat and Knicks. Corn watch. And Brzingis goes to the rebound, collides with Justice Winslow, goes down hard. What happened? Uh, watch. Oh! oh. Went to the room with a strained right ankle. X-rays were negative. Knicks didn't need him, though. Tim Hardaway Jr. with a catch and release buzzer beater. Knicks win by 29, their largest win this season. Timberwolves Pellies. Anthony Davis was not happy with the officiating Wednesday. i will have some words for the official. Called for a technical. And you don't see this every day. It's, it's DeMarcus Cousins who will play Peacemaker. But Cousins not able to save him here. Night after LeBron James picked up his first career rejection, the Brow gets his first. And again, Boogie Cousins. Peacemaker. And the Timberwolves win big. A uh, Canadian Andrew Wiggins with 28 points in that one. Canadian. Uh, Michael Crabtree safety chain. So oh, I tripped over that. There's a lip there. Uh, I'll let you behind the curtain. There's a lip behind that uh, desk, so our chairs don't roll off the ledge because if there was no lip, we, we we'd would be for dead. sure be dead by now. As you saw earlier, the Montreal Canadiens made it a perfect 3-0 since Carey Price's return from injury with a 2-1 win over the Ottawa Senators. Jonathan Drouin scored on a penalty shot. Price made 27 saves. In fact, he has allowed just two goals on 102 shots 
since rejoining the team. Dan, he looks like vintage Carey Price. He, he looks, does. He looks like the Carey Price of old. He must have been seriously injured to start the season because we were watching him and some of the, just the attempts he was making on saves just did not look like himself. He was out of place on a lot of rebounds and stuff. Uh, so you have the injury and a good break from the game. Mm. He cleared his head maybe. He said he watched a lot of tape. Mm. So probably, probably watched a lot of Bing Bang Theory. That's a popular show. Yeah, it is. Never watched it. It's that time of the week again where we check in on the latest nicknames and funniest nicknames in a segment called NHL Nicknamesy. No, I didn't see it because I was yelling at Chatty. Yeah, I'll say he's a shooter and I'm a passer and shows he's got good legs. You know, Condo's mistake. Lads and I do be who struggled. Give Dolby credit. Well, Dolby's playing really well. Yeah, Nemo played awesome. I mean, Mace had a fantastic game yesterday. Obviously, we got two great goaltenders in Pax and Juice. Schneids was phenomenal. RD man, Borgia yeah, chipping it out. A lot of credit to Shife's line that got us going. When Big Eight's gone, Grooley got his first win. It's good to see Risto back. Oh, I just wanted to get over to Butchie. Kaner uh, made him. Uh... Uh, said he coming back uh, with Cooney and Cali. I mean, I thought Cali was the best player on the ice tonight for both teams. Going from Doobie to Dobbies. <laughs> Here's the week's results. Uh, so 52% E, 70%, 17% S, you got your O's, you got your O's, and 13%, uh, yeah, bu just a <laughs> bunch of, bunch of crap. Mason This juice. has been NHL nicknames -y. Well, UFC President Dana White cast a shadow over the future of Conor McGregor's career Tuesday, saying this about his sport's biggest draw. Connor might never fight again. He made 100 expletive million to fight Floyd Mayweather in August. And fighting is the worst. Try to get up and get punched in the face for a living when you got 100 million in the bank. Now, adding to the questions around Connor's future are reports of his involvement in a brawl with an associate of a ranking member of an Irish crime syndicate. Yeah, and they're asking for a ransom, supposedly, from him. They, they say pay us and... He punched a, a father of a, of of a high-ranking member punch. or something like that? Yeah. What are you doing? Doesn't he get a pass from Go the buy, Irish Mafia? Go buy an island. Sit on that island. He's... But Ireland is an island. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Touché. Damn. We've uh, already seen plenty of North American highlights in the show. But, you know, there's a whole globe. Oh, yes. There so is. we scour the globe, mm -hmm. and we bring you the latest installment of the World Sports Report. What a weekend it was. And you bring powerlifters carrying a horse, OK? Hey. He does it on TV as well. That horse wasn't cooperating, but this this horse almost seems to enjoy it. Ha what? You'd think all horses would be like, yeah, carry us for once. This can't this can't be allowed. Yeah, that's right. We've been carrying you people for hundreds of years. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. It's about time one of you decided to pick us up and carry us around. Return the favor. Uh, this is the KHL. Another lacrosse style goal. Sergei Schumacher of CKSA. Is it CSKA or CKSA Moscow? It's Siska. Moscow. Uh, this has been, I don't think there's any doubt about it, another thrilling edition of Jay and Dan's World Sports Report. And when we come back, all the best from a very busy Wednesday in sports. It's the Jennies. You like to say Wednesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. It was supposed to be a rebirth. A team looking for a new start, getting cut down to size. When one wound heals, another opens. And now they're suffering. Death by a thousand cuts. Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> Starring James Vanderbeek as Connor McDavid, Michael Chiklis as general manager Peter Shirelli, and a closed sign on an old furniture store as Gary Bettman. The Edmonton Journal calls Death by a Thousand Cuts a press conference. 
The Hockey News says, I expected some cuts, but that was way too many cuts. And TSN's Ryan Rashad calls it better than Star Wars. It's the unrelenting drama of the season. This December, get cut. Death by a thousand cuts. Can't wait till we get our Timmy's coffees and go see Death by a Thousand Cuts together at the Scarborough Town Center across the street. I carry Price. Uh, was really good, and uh, Montreal beat Ottawa. Uh, the Raptors were really good, and they beat Charlotte. And Toronto Football Club was really good. And they beat the Columbus Crew in the second leg of the Eastern Conference Final. Shows the Altidore with the goal. TFC will now host the MLS Cup for the second straight year. It's the Jennies. You know what they are. Producer Tim upset that we're not narrating these highlights correctly. Well, how about that, Tim? That was a crossover from Dwight Howard. He's played pretty well for Charlotte. We would see about five now, they didn't get the win. Sorry, Tim, they haven't created the robot anchor button yet. Tim Hardaway Jr. bakes that buzzer. Robot anchors would be kind of interesting. Put that after Big Bang Theory. Robot anchors? Yeah. Do we all have that show? Is that on CTV? It's already on. Okay. Thursday. Thunder in the Magic. Alfred Payton gets Russell Westbrook to bite and nails the jumper. Yes! Oh boy. What's with those Thunder units? Love his lid. Okay. Is uh checking now. Let's all wait. His Wi-Fi is uh, slow. Yep. Is that right? Yes, we got it. Yes. Okay. Never doubted Hound Dog for a second. One v one. It must have been like a Ram convention in my town today. I saw a hundred of them. I'm like, guys, it's a nice truck. <laughs> Just yelling at people. <laughs> Trucks. What do you want? Again. Nothing. Like there were slim pickings on Wednesday night. This is your challenger. Tim, it's a fine play. It's not a great play. It's a fine play. Carey Price, this is a great play. <laughs> so you're just, what if Tim Hardaway Jr. beats Carey Price in 1v1? Not one? happening. Another not upset. Happening. I implore you viewers to vote at tsn.ca slash 1v1. And Lindsay, reversal of fortune, Hamilton will reveal that Tim Hardaway Jr. has won <laughs> Thursday, 6 Eastern on Sports Center. Uh, just a reminder. You do not want to miss seeing Neil Young live from somewhere in Canada. Yes. This Friday at 80. This is so cool. You can only see it on ctv.ca. And uh, there you go. CTV Go, the iHeartRadio app. Use your phone. Here's a phone. I use your tablet. You use a, your laptop. You have a picture of a tree on your phone? Yeah, it's my house. Uh, I use a, <laughs> live a, in a I live, live in a tree. In a tree. <laughs> um, by the way, I, I blew it earlier, Dan. Uh, check this out. Uh, Michael Crabtree safety chain. So oh, I tripped over that. Uh, Michael Crabtree <laughs> safety chain. So oh, I tripped over that. As if it wasn't obvious. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, I have a problem. Oh, November. It's almost over. We're gonna shave them on Thursday show, right? Yeah, I think so. Producer Tim's bringing in. Uh, I understand Frederick Fakai is coming in to who's, shave them. Who's oh, that? Here we go. Is that a famous barber? I think so. There we go. Well done. Well done. If you could keep it, would you? I would absolutely do it. Look at this. Always I'm like a lot of dander. Like <laughs> And there's dance. Also well done. The year of dander. <laughs> Buy tickets, you must. Visit PittsburghPenguins.com. May the force be with you.